Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm going to be replacing one of my taillights on my carry-on trailer. These are a uh, trailer you can get at like Tractor Supply. So I tried to get the new light at Tractor Supply, but they were sold out. So I picked it up on Amazon. It's the same thing. Um, I'll put a link for this down in the description as well as all of the tools that you're going to need to do this. Just judging on looking at it, they look like they're the same thing. Um, so we'll see how this goes. The other one was just two bolts mounting it. Uh, one of them was actually broken, so it just kind of came right off. The whole thing, as you can see, was completely broken. Um, so <laughs> I don't really know how this happened. I just noticed it was cracked, and then I went to change it, and it fell apart when I started taking it apart. So anyway, let's get into this. All right, so in the packaging, they send you the light, and then there's two nuts and two lock washers. All right, so what you're going to need to do this is an extension cord, a heat gun, some of these connectors that are heat gun solder connectors, and they also make it waterproof. You're also going to need some wire cutter strippers and some split loom. So this is, uh, I think, 3 8 or half inch split loom. All right, my trailer had a 7 16 nut to pull off the tail light, and then the nut that comes with the new one is a 10 millimeter socket. All right, let's move to the back of the trailer. I show you what's going on over here. I should also mention you don't want to have this plugged into the truck. Uh, you just don't want to accidentally shock yourself. So <laughs> so when I took this thing apart, the wires just fell out of it. It looks like they like came in the back into these holes here um, and they weren't really connected to anything. So luckily they're already stripped. If they're not stripped on yours, you're gonna have to strip them and make the ends look nice. Um, I probably have a little extra wire than I need, so I could probably get rid of some of it, but I'm gonna see what's going on here. And then I got the same thing going on here. I have a yellow and a brown. And here I have one that's all yellow and one that's yellow and brown. So the yellow is gonna go to the yellow. Yellow and brown is gonna go to the yellow and brown. So we're just gonna pull the ends off. I'm gonna get my wire cutters and just make these a little bit longer. That seems a little short to me. And then they had the wire running through there. I don't know if I really wanna do that because the wire comes out of the bottom on this. So I'm gonna pull it out like that, mount this, like that and then just connect the wires in the back. So first thing I'm gonna do is just mount this with the two bolts. All right, I'll stick that in there. Grab a lock washer, stick that on there. And a nut. Okay, same thing over here. I got my 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna tighten it down but not too much because it's just mounted in plastic. Don't want to break the plastic. All right, so I've got a bunch of excess wire here. Um, I could just leave this long and dangling, but I'm actually just gonna cut it, I think, uh, and make it a little bit shorter here. So I'm not gonna go too short, but let's go like that long. Strip these apart. And then we're just gonna check on the gauge. I start big and then work my way down if I don't know what size it is. That was a 14. And this must be a 12. Let's try 14 right anyway. 14 worked. All right, now that I got the ends done, I'm gonna put these together. I gotta get my little solder connectors. All right, so now I gotta figure out the right size connector. So uh, one of the wires was 14 and one was 12. So I'm just gonna go with the 14s. That'll be the blue ones. All right, so basically how these work, you just stick that on there like that and you stick the other one in like that. And you make sure they're both, uh, the metal is at the solder connector point, right like that. Now I'm just gonna use the heat gun All right, there's the solder starting to melt. That looks 
pretty good. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a squeeze just to make sure it's connected real good. Squish that solder down on there a little bit. Should be good. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing on the yellow. See if I can get this to stay out of the way. All right, same thing, I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit, not too much, just making sure they're all connected and the solder's all the way through. But they should be fine, I shouldn't have to do that anyway. And the blue is like a glue, so that makes it waterproof, and as you can see, these shrink right down to be tight on it, so we're good. All right, now I'm just gonna wrap this in my split loom. So to do that, you just wrap it around like this. And they didn't have this on the trailer before, but I just think it's good to add a little bit of protection, especially now that these connectors are out in the open. Um, so I'm just gonna get it pretty close to the end here. Make sure it's up to the top, so right around there. And I'm just gonna cut it with my utility knife. There we go. Now, here's an extra step that I don't think you have to do, but I'm just gonna wrap a zip tie around this to kind of hold it in place because it is a little bit long. Cut that off. Boom. All right, there we go. Nice and clean. All right, so that's it. If you got anything out of this video, give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more stuff like this. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.